Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Tuesday, August 6, 2024, the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In, In the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father, and of the, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship. Grant, we pray, to your servants, that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Mark chapter 9, verses 2 through 10. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say, they were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection Imagine being one of the apostles in today's Gospel. You're climbing a mountain with Jesus, perhaps wondering what new lesson or parable that he might teach you today. Suddenly, Jesus is transfigured before your eyes. His clothes become dazzling white, and his face shines like the sun. And if that's not enough, two of the greatest figures of the Old Testament, Moses and Elijah, appear and start talking with Jesus. You're stunned, you're overwhelmed, maybe even a bit scared. Peter, who's always the impulsive one, speaks up and suggests building tents for Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. But he's not quite sure what he's asking for, and who would be in such a moment. This transfiguration is more than a miraculous event. It's a revelation of Jesus' true identity. In this moment, the apostles see Jesus not just as a man, their teacher, or even a prophet, but as the glorified Son of God. They witness the fulfillment of all the law and the prophets, Moses and Elijah rejoicing in Jesus. It's like a glimpse behind the curtain revealing the man behind the mystery, Christ, true God and true man. Now think about how the apostles must have felt. They saw it all, but they didn't fully understand it. They had a vision, but lacked the comprehension. Sometimes what we witness in our faith journey can overwhelm our understanding. We need more than just our reason to grasp these divine mysteries. We need the light of grace. And that's exactly what happens next in the gospel. A cloud envelops them, and from the cloud comes a voice. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. The cloud signifies the Holy Spirit who overshadows the apostles and reveals the truth to them. And in that moment, God the Father speaks directly to them, illuminating their reason and deepening their faith. It's a reminder that faith itself is a gift, a light that helps us see and understand the mysteries that reason alone cannot fully grasp. Pope Benedict said, Faith is an incentive to seek always, never to stop and never to be content in the inexhaustible search for truth and reality. The transfiguration is a call for us to keep seeking, 
keep listening, and keep opening ourselves to the Holy Spirit's guidance. Jesus is revealed as the beloved Son of God, and we're called to listen to Him, to let His words shape our lives, and to trust in the light of faith that God provides. And so today, let's pray and embrace the mystery, trust in God's grace, and always be eager to seek and discover the infinite truth that is found in Christ. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.